Hello and welcome to Community Chats. I'm your host, Ali Hammer, and today we're joined with Leah, the GM of Digital and Technology at Compass Group. Leah, thank you so much for joining us today. Can you start by telling our audience a little bit about Compass Group? Sure. Hi, Ali. I'm delighted to be here. Well, Compass is the largest contract food services company in the world, providing great food to millions of people around the world every day. Food is our passion and our core competence. And we pride ourselves on our ability to provide clients with a wide range of innovative dining solutions. We operate in 45 countries across 55,000 sites and serving 5.5 billion meals per year. And we're also the proud employer of about 550,000 employees. Uh, we provide food and support services across five market sectors and a portfolio of unique brands allowing us to deliver bespoke, innovative and cost-effective solutions to meet the unique needs for each sector. We operate at thousands of client locations around the world, um, from hospitals, schools and oil rigs, to corporate headquarters and the world's biggest entertainment venues. We really combine our global strength with passionate local teams. Compass Group Australia also plays an important role in supporting and creating career paths for disadvantaged Australians. And we source 81% of food and beverages from local growers and manufacturers. We also work in partnership with Oz Harvest and we share the, we share the vision of zero waste and free of hunger. Wow, I'm just going to pause for a minute. What an intro. I mean, I first of all did not realize that you operate in 45 countries and employ over 550,000 staff. That is absolutely mind boggling and incredible. And the fact that you guys have a vision of, you know, zero waste and hunger is very admirable. And I guess what I want to know is what prompted the journey to be more data driven in, in all these initiatives? We are always innovating to keep our offer fresh from seasonal dishes and food offerings menus that consider nutritional value, health and well-being, uh, consumption tracking at an individual level of our most vulnerable to support services and digital offerings. We are a sectorized business and we are structured to reflect the markets we operate in. Our offerings are specific to cater for each unique sector's requirements. And we put our clients at the heart of everything we do. So to boost our business performance, better understand our clients, personalize content and develop products, we cannot only look for the trends across the group. We need to understand the sector and client variances. So our offerings are more targeted and cohesive. If we can use data and analytics to look at the actual performance, we are able to tailor each offering to provide the best to our clients rather than the average. We also strive to be the best in markets and data-driven innovation is not just a matter of inspiration. It requires continuous effort in identifying subject areas that are promising for new efforts and experiments in specific sectors. I think also in a COVID world with an even more permanent state of flux and uncertainty, we need to be pivoting at speed uh, to service the changing landscape and demand of our clients, their employees, as well as our own. Data, analytics and artificial intelligence help us identify those new trends and intelligent operating models. Well, it's great to hear that your business is always innovating. And Leah, what opportunities has being more data-driven actually opened up for Compass Group? Well, we have a lot of exciting initiatives going at the moment um, and there is much more to explore. But to date, the opportunities that we are seeing through the power of centralized data is in the use of our safety data for early detection and to help us become more preventative, avoid injuries of our team members and effectively address workplace safety. Our digital solutions like Allergen Scanner from a food safety perspective, reducing the risk of allergen related incidents through computer vision and machine learning. Computer vision technology through our meal vision solution to provide insights into food consumption and preference at an individual level to support health and wellness of our customers. Our workplace app, which delivers a holistic experience to our clients' workforce, enabling customer centricity at greater scale and personalizing consumer offerings. 
optimizing our menus through sustainable uh, supply chains, better visibility of business performance through comparative data analysis, identifying operational improvements through integrated production planning and inventory management, and forecasting and predictive analysis to avoid overproduction and reduce food waste and operate more sustainably. Here at Compass Australia, being a more data-driven organization enables us to move at pace. It helps us identify hidden trends and macro patterns across our food and service offerings and uncovering unmet needs that will continue to delight our clients. Well, there's such a huge list of benefits and Leah, it's so clear that Compass Group is keen on being agile and innovative. So have there been any challenges with trying to achieve this and how did you actually overcome them? Absolutely, Ali. So Compass has a clear focus on innovation through technology and data analytics. And we recognize that adoption of technology and digital solutions is at times challenging within our organization. And that's mostly because of the size of our organization. But we approach this challenge with a clear view that our team members are our most important lever to the health of our client offerings. With this as a principle, it's vital that they join in on our digital and technology journey, not just as consumers or frontline users, but as an active participant. Mm. We also have good associations across our teams and have less of a cultural challenge when it comes to working collaboratively. But unfortunately, we still do have significant repositories of data through our distributed application landscape. And we are using next generation technology to activate that data in a more real and meaningful way to provide insights to our clients and their journeys. Also, uh, with a lot of innovation being driven across the organization and at all levels, funneling to prioritize and invest well is not always an easy task, but we work in close partnership with our operations and functions to identify the opportunities that service our strategic objectives best. So given all of this, what would your advice be to another organization out there who might be looking to successfully innovate at scale like your company has done? I would say start small, identify tactical use cases to provide the value, deliver in sprints, but continue to develop the longer term roadmap, share the vision, Communicate this to as many teammates as you can and as often as you can. And deliver in partnership. And this really includes operations, business SMEs, um, internal IT teams, but also external specialists and partners. That is some great advice. And Leah, to wrap up this interview, what's next for Compass Group and the AWS partnership? Probably the biggest transformation is that the infrastructure required to really build something world-class like our Helios platform, no longer requires us to be the infrastructure provider. This empowers us to focus on inventing at the customer edge. Data and analytics keep expanding. Decisions are becoming more connected, more contextual, and more continuous. And we need partners like AWS to help us master this complexity. AWS provides us with a great next generation technology platform that unifies our digital ambition, business intelligence, analytics, and AI efforts to set the stage for innovation in the years to come. Leah, thank you so much for joining us on the show today. Compass Group is doing a world of good and I cannot wait to continue watching your journey. And thank you so much for coming on the show today. And if anyone has any questions, please pop them in the comment section below and we'll get back to you. Thank you so much, Leah. Thanks for having me, Ali.